Hello, Moon Babies. It's your Mama Witch, Angela Mary. How are you all doing? I had to tune in for vlog episode two right now. My intention is to create these each and every week, very particularly as we're going through this global pandemic together. Here are scenes from my home here on the beach in California. And also, I'll share with you a witch's brew a writing prompt, and get you all prepared for my live stream on Friday, March 20th, 2020. Enjoy. These are my personal reflections from my home beach here in Orange County, California. As we have this experience of capturing this video from Friday the 13th to today, March 19th, 2020, more and more has changed moment by moment. In the beginning of this video, you saw the military helicopter flying overhead. We're having a lot more of that lately as we anticipate the beaches will be closed very soon, like they are in other places in America. All of us are slowly but surely beginning that journey, which has an unknown end of sheltering in place as we create soft protection and safety for all. I'm wishing you all so well. Hi, hi, Moon Babies. How are you doing? Angela Mary here, sending you all so much love and magic right now. Vlog episode two. Who would have known that here, mid March, we would be, after vlog one from last week, descended into a deep, deep global pandemic? The radical experience that we're having is creating this radical togetherness. My intention is to be here with you throughout. I'm excited to share with you some wonderful things and as fresh witches brew each and every vlog. Please stay with me right now as we strike a wooden match for the collective to alert our spirit guides that we're here, we're open, we're listening, and we're ready to receive the messages that are meant for us. I also light another candle for my subscribers. Thank you so much for being here. My intention is to be here through all of this, and I would love to have all of you subscribe so we can kind of healthfully feather my nest over here on YouTube and stay connected through all of this. So here we are, 2020. We're just barreling into spring from a really intense and wild winter. I am... Happy to share with you what I know, and that is witches brew and community and connection in this worldwide covens. I'm loving that all of this beautiful Orange County citrus is in season right now. We've got Cara Cara oranges in our brew, which is so fabulous for vitamin C and brightening our mood and our mind and loads of fresh ginger. And that's great for if our tummy has butterflies from fear and it's really wonderful for our throat and our lungs, our breathing, it's got a natural spice. Whole cloves in the brew and some other lovely things. We'll go through all of that. My Be Well spell, Witch's Brew, is made from the flesh of 13 Cara Cara oranges in season here in my forever home of Orange County, California. Begin by stirring in a spoonful of local raw honey. Add one whole star and east to connect with spirit. Three whole allspice to honor the past, present, and future. Twenty whole cloves. Then stir in 13 anti-clockwise circles. Cover and simmer for 13 magical minutes. Remove the cloves after you're done brewing so they don't overpower your gorgeous hot drink. 
dry the cloves and save for sacred smoldering for our Be Well Spell live stream on Friday, March 20th, 2020. Please, please share in comments how you're doing, how you're eating in isolation, how you're sharing with others in this moment, and maybe some witch's brew that you're creating. I'm going to take a nice sip right now. Mm. I may or may not have added a little, tiny little, teeny thimble of American bourbon in here called Basil Hayden's. Do you know this? We are in the very first day of my partner being home. I don't know how long, but they'll be working from home now. So all four of us are under one roof. How's all that going for all of you all? We have kind of descended into eating funky foods. So I had sunflower seed butter, um, sun seed and strawberry jelly pancake sandwich. (laughs) <laughs> which is kind of, you know, giving me tons of life. My daughter made those hot cakes, and I'm just super happy. We're kind of going through the pantry and pulling out everything that we have right now and just being very resourceful. Here's our local supermarket on Friday the 13th. Time to dig deep in the old pantry. So I kind of have a few things written down, including a writing prompt and an incantation to share with you all. I really intend to be there, and as long as we are well, I will keep casting my spell. So tomorrow is my Friday live stream, and my dear intention with all of that is to create a Be Well spell. For me, it's all about connectivity and creating this sort of open space in this field upon this channel for us to connect. In that connection, you know that I'm on Instagram daily and I wake and greet you in song each morning on my Instagram stories, which I find really comforting to provide and comforting in the responses that I get from all you all. I'm very happy to hold a maternal space in this space and in space in general. (laughs) And that is something that I'm just, it creates this incredible attachment. I feel this is a huge binding spell, checking in with all you all. I said on my first vlog last week that sort of Enough things fell apart in our life in winter 2020 that I just needed to create a vlog to talk about all the things in a way that were sort of even maybe not working um, as a way to break the spell of waiting till everything felt perfect to create space to say what's going on. So wouldn't you know, a global pandemic came in and um, encourages me that being real and my one of my big phrases for 2020 is hyper real, that I, I need to be seen in the way that this uh, pandemic is affecting my family and need to be seen in everything that we're experiencing and holding space for you to be seen in your experience as well. So please let me know the funky foods you're eating. Let me know how your body's holding up. There are people in this worldwide coven of mine that are suffering right now and creating wellness in their body, working with having COVID-19, having the coronavirus. And I know that this coven surrounds you in love and magic. And we're all here in this together. There's that connection again, this connectivity. I have a lovely friend that I have not met in real life. Her name is Ni, you spell that N-I. They are, are at the Immaterial Garden, Primordial Flowers Tarot on Instagram, the Immaterial Garden here on YouTube. And Ni and I were connected just literally within the first week of my prosthetic hip implant in December. And I was so moved by the project that they created on Instagram called Arcana Brick Road, which was lovingly named by Golden Finch, Jess, who also has a nice YouTube channel here. And that was created by Nee at Primordial Flowers Tarot. And I just love connecting with Nee. Nee kind of woke me up to connectivity in a new way when 
I was able to step in and hold space in the Arcana Brick Road as the Hierophant in the Hierophant card and depicting my experience with the Hierophant card in the Black Power Tarot which is created by King Khan, the musician King Khan, and most of the major arcana, which is what that whole deck is simply major arcana, is American um, rock and roll and blues um, black artists. The Hierophant in that experience kind of showed me that there's kind of space for all of us to be the best kind of teacher ever because the Hierophant is at once someone who is creating sacred text and sharing sacred text. And so for me, the Hierophant experience is being the ultimate student, being, you cannot be a sharer of sacredness or a sharer of wisdom without being a super great student, which means you have to be the best listener of them all. So this space here is space that I'm holding for all of us to teach one another, all of us to be fabulous listeners and great students as we learn how to be together and apart at the same time in this global pandemic that we're experiencing. You know, Please know that it's a miracle that I'm out of my jammies right now. Um, I've been sharing this with my nephew that's over living in Hawaii. They are a chef and they live there with their love and they're both isolated right now. We're talking about day jammies that turn into night jammies. Maybe we put on a second set at night. We're all doing our best, folks. Um, I have a writing prompt for you as I create my Be Well spell for the live stream tomorrow. This is a writing prompt working with the word well, W-E-L-L. -L. And we can create words that go across worldwide. E, energy, L, love, L, lightening. This is a tower moment as a tarot reader. This is a tower moment. I have pulled the tower again and again and again in 2020. This is a time for us to kind of let things sort of be struck by lightning, to be honed by fire, to be made sharper, to be made better as we move forward. That's your simple writing prompt. I will beg all of us in this worldwide covenant to write something, just your name and the date and one feeling word each day that we go through this isolation experience, this global pandemic together. So the writing prompts that I'll create for you are utterly simple. Play with the word well right now. Talk about the deep well that you're in right now and muse upon the word well and what it all means that we drink from the same well. We talked about this on one of the lives a couple of weeks ago, that there really is no new water. It's like, ah, Pisces season just brought so much knowledge and wisdom of how tender and how delicate life is, that we must kind of protect ourselves and protect the water of the world and protect the waters of our body. Last week on the live stream, I reclaimed the word droplet because we've been hearing the word droplet so much, talking about how this virus is contracted through droplets that move from person to person and sometimes from surface to person, from person to surface. So it's a really interesting time right now to think about life in terms of our connectivity and ways that being separate helps protect our connectivity right now. The incantation that I have to share with you, I will also include in the live stream on Friday. This is my simple incantation, which I offer you as a humble prayer for you and your loves. Light upon the field, creating great yield. Energy is light, purification of blight, sight for this flight, summoning ancestors, willingness to fight, birthrights and inner knowings accessed by feel, birthrights and inner knowings accessed by feel. 
until very soon, I'm offering you all my love and magic. See you soon, my darling loves. Be well.